Hi, this is Diana, and it's time for Dwarf Telescope video. And today I am going to be showing you uh, three more images from Dwarf Lab, and these are nebulas in one galaxy. And I am going to uh, get the uh, stack image as they didn't provide all of the frames so it's just out of the uh, stack image and that stack image i am going to convert it into fits format using cyril and speaking of cyril or cyril <laughs> I am doing all kind of tutorials and practicing so hopefully especially for my dear friend Polly Paul this one is for you I'm going to use just in one of the processes and hopefully next week I will have uh, my first video uh, using Cyril let's just go ahead and start with the images Okay, so the first image I want to show you, it's this stack image of the Ville Nebula region. And we know there are several here. This is what you will get uh, out of the telescope. Okay, the second image is the Andromeda Galaxy. And I did some really good photography of the Andromeda Galaxy using the Dwarf 2 telescope. And if you want to watch that video, this was a very popular video for me, so it did really good. <laughs> the third one, which is probably my favorite right now, is the Eagle Nebula. And this one, it's going to look so good because you can see how much it has improved from the Dwarf 2 telescope. This, this is the uh, stack image of Andromeda and this one came as a TIFF format which is the way that it's saved as a stack image in order for me to do more editing I prefer to use the FITS format and Cyril provides that so under conversion I was able to change the format for all three images and then take them back to inside. Okay, so now back into pics inside where I <laughs> where I know what I'm doing. So this is the stack image that I change into the fits format. And let's just, just examine real quick before I start making some changes here. But let's not forget that this is only about 30 minutes. This is not that much. Uh, we don't know any other conditions. I don't know about the sky conditions or portal or light pollution, none of that. If you're going to start in astrophotography and you don't want to edit just to photograph and stargazing and take images of the universe, this is kind of like what is, you're going to get straight from the uh, telescope. I obviously going to start with uh, a dynamic crop and one of the things is that we want to crop there's always all kind of uh, artifacts and lines from the stacking and it's always good just to crop a little bit uh, the second step it's going to be dynamic uh, background extraction and for this one i'm going to use graxpert okay so it did remove a lot let me just click here again okay let's uh go ahead and do the uh, blur exterminator and with the blur exterminator uh it's going to get the the stars tighter it's going to give some sharpening too i'm using the default settings for this one okay so now you see the stars are not uh, that elongated and bloated <laughs> um, let's just go ahead and see the before and after so before and after okay so right after uh, the uh, blur exterminator i am going to use the uh, noise exterminator same thing on this one i am going to use it at 86 it has a lot of 
uh, noise on the background and let's see what happens but the image is already looking much better oh my god look at the difference this is already looking much better look at that so all we need to work very much now it's on uh, some sharpening and some uh, color saturation uh, one thing that I want to do next um, I am going to remove the stars on this image and for that I am going to use star exterminator and here we are this is our nebula so all the data is there we just have to I and mean, there's all kind of little things and details not bad for a little telescope so um, let me just go ahead and get a range mask that it's been already created okay um, and this what this is going to do is that it's not going to affect the background and it's just going to let me work just on the nebula itself and in a very simple very simple way I need to have a preview here okay so all I'm going to do is just increase the color saturation and look at that it's already looking a lot better and I am going to do kind of like an S here so something like this and let's apply this to the image <laughs> and that looks uh, pretty good to me okay this is this is pretty cool the changes are look at all that oh Oh my god you have to be kidding me dwarf three <laughs> okay so now let me just go ahead and combine the images uh which is going to be the stars under starless pretty oh okay so now let's compare Ta -da! and ta -da! Right? Oh, I should say it the other way. Ta -da! Uh, da -da 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 -da. Oh my god, big difference. But the one, the stack image is good too if you don't want to do anything. But look how beautiful the other one looks. So, okay. Okay, time for Andromeda. This one has a lot of green and um, one of the things I want to do immediately is try to remove some of that green using SCNR and immediately it was starting to look a little bit better and I am going to do exactly the same uh, processes as the other image. So that's some of the gradients that have been extracted. And as you can see, the image already looks much better. You can see it's darker here, this one. Okay, so there we go. That is looking a lot better. Before and after. Big improvement. Woo! Woo! <laughs> Look at that! Oh! This is why you need to learn to do some editing because you will get much better results. So ta da and ta 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 ta. <laughs> okay, very good. And last but not least, the Ville Nebula, the, that region that has the several nebulas, the witch's broom. Oh, there's all kind of targets here. But anyways, this one, uh, I just want to show you the last, the final result. And this is an area that is kind of like difficult to photograph, has a lot of hydrogen alpha, the reddish colors. And that's kind of like what happened here. Um, I did all of the processes already. And I want to show here um, the uh, histogram so you can see. Um, I think if I probably just cut a little bit, clip a little bit here and try to get 
a little bit more darker background okay which is what i have right here and uh, this this image uh, needs a little bit more work but i am going just to show you this final result um combining the stars and i'm just going to go ahead and combine here and this one uh, let's see how it looks and there it is this is the uh, filamentary nebula or region so we can see how it's starting to look and like i said this is a, a difficult more difficult target but there it is the uh, witch's room and all these other areas here that i think it's doing a pretty good job okay let's don't forget this is about 30 minutes total exposure time okay on 30 seconds per frame so what do you think i am excited about the uh, dwarf three this is dwarf three i'm waiting for you come on <laughs> soon soon dwarf lab is doing their final 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 adjustments and tweaking here and there and i get a lot of uh emails from them and they kind of like keep me posted on how things are going and everything it's looking really good so let's just go ahead and look at all of the final images